Here's Lee in Watford. Hi, Lee. What do you do? Yeah, hi, Eddie. Thanks for asking the sensible questions uh, today, and we'll miss you, obviously. Um, but uh, good luck with the uh, next steps. But uh, yeah, we just gave up. Yeah, we just got a. Uh, we have um, eleven storage and distribution centres for fresh seafood in the UK. Uh, yeah, kind of crab, langoustine. Yeah, kind of all fairly high end products for restaurants and also private delivery. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we just made the decision Friday. We're, we're, we're just closing our UK business. Oh, no. We're moving it to the, the Netherlands. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, Rotterdam area. Uh, you know, we can find basically a, uh, an area in Rotterdam to move all of those centres and get a 5.5% cap on energy. Uh Basically, the energy costs, we're refrigeration heavy, obviously, because mm-hmm. we're storing crabs and lobsters and all that kind of stuff. Right? <laughs> yeah, we, 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 we literally cannot pass on 260% to restaurants and private clients, right? We just can't do it. So, Lee, tell me, yeah, about your, we, tell me about your thinking in recent weeks and months before you reached that momentous decision on Friday. What were the options you looked at? Yeah, so we're looking at, you know, we were looking at, you know, kind of new contracts. We're looking at energy saving. We're looking at everything. We've got a 1,000 employees in the UK, right? So, uh, you yeah, know, we've given them pay rises. We've supported them through COVID. We've done the whole Brexit debate with fresh fish imports and exports. We've spent £6 million trying to navigate this government for the last two or three years as a business, right? Uh, you know, we've got no help. There's nothing coming from... Yeah, Rishi, Liz, Boris, whatever. There's no direction at all on what this policy is going to look like in the next 18 months. You can't plan a business without some kind of support on that basis, right? So, look, we've had five months waiting, planning, trying to work out what we do. We're desperately trying to keep the business in the UK and keep the jobs in the UK. But I I can move it to the Netherlands and... I hate to say this, right, but, you know, it just prevents us going bankrupt, right? So we, we've just, we have no choice. We've just got to leave the UK because, you know, I, I'm an M in an SME, uh, Eddie, you get that, right? So the medium-sized business, right? So we're, yeah, we're only 20, 22 million pound turnover, but, you know, 1,000 employees. We've been in the UK for 40 years. Um you know, we cannot operate the business with 260% energy price rises. It just doesn't work. You know, it, 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 it's not just it's not profitable or we dig into reserves or the equity holders take the loss. We, yeah, we, we, we can, we've already absorbed 30, 40%. Yeah, it just makes absolutely no sense to absorb 260% when I can move it to the Netherlands at significant cost, yes. but at least the business has a future. And what happens to your employees here? Uh, they're gone, unfortunately. Yeah, so we just did the it was very sad, yeah, very sad Friday. <laughs> we, uh, yeah, <laughs> unfortunately, we're just, we're just closing, we're just closing every unit, right? So that's uh, 985 redundancies in the UK. We'll just rehire in the Netherlands. We'll probably move, I don't know, 30, 40 key operational people. We'll try and move them physically to the Netherlands to kind of set up and operate the new sites. But yeah, we're looking at 900 redundancies plus. <laughs> Had there been the sort of price cap there is in the Netherlands, had that been here, uh, would you have stayed? Absolutely, yeah. We can absorb, you know, we can absorb five to ten percent. We'll take the hit as equity owners of the business, right? Uh, we have private equity owners. Yeah, we have management owners. Where, you know, we can take five to ten percent hit for two years. We'll eat that and we'll invest in the business. But 260%, what are we meant to do, right? It's just going to go bankrupt. It's as simple as that. It's such a crushing loss, uh, Lee. Such a yeah. terrible loss. Oh, it's horrible. Well, the, the business took, you know, it's 40 years old. It took 10 years to get it to the state it's in. We get whacked with Brexit, which costs an enormous amount of money to navigate, you know. Look, you know, look I'm, yeah. I, was that I, the I, six I, million you were referring to earlier? Yeah, yeah, look, yeah, Eddie, you've got to realise, right, when you're doing import-export into the EU, the costs are just monumental when you're shipping, you know, kind of 50, 60 trucks a week, right? You just cannot manage these costs, right? Um, so we've been whacked already, but then you layer this on the top with nothing from the government about business support or any kind of attempt to tax the 50, 60 billion pounds of profits that are going into the energy companies and kind of redistribute that in some way. 
unfortunately, the only end result is going to be business closures, right? Whether that's a fish and chip shop or a business like ours, right? It doesn't matter. Yeah. Lee, it's nice to talk to you. I hope a business goes well in the Netherlands. It certainly deserves to. I mean, what about that? Uh, almost a thousand people losing their jobs. Uh, and as Lee sees it, had there been a, an energy price cap for business here, uh, those jobs would still be here. 